Hey everybody, Dawn here from The Goddess Diaries and in this video I just want to talk really briefly about a couple of things that you can do to make sure that your yoni egg is safe. Are you using a toxic crystal for a yoni egg? Hi. How do you know? How do you know? Well, last week I was interviewed by the lovely Inanna of Inanna Rising and we touched on the topic of which crystals to use and which to avoid very briefly. Uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about it because I feel like this is um, very important information that women need when they embark on their own yoni egg journey. Always do your research before putting a crystal in your vagina, please. <laughs> so here's a couple of tips that I put together for you to help you in your research to determine whether or not your egg is safe for you. Five quick bullet points, um, just a couple of things to consider, okay? So <clears throat> the number one tip that I have for you is to figure out whether or not your stone is intended as a yoni egg. There are a lot of crystals out there that are carved into the shape of an egg, but that doesn't necessarily make them a yoni stone or a yoni egg, okay? One quick way or easy way to figure that out is whether or not your stone is carved, or sorry, is drilled. And I have this obsidian stone here that you can see. I don't know if you, how do I get this up there? Oh, see? I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's got a hole at the top. Oh, there we go, tunnel of light. Oh, see right through it. Anyway, it's been drilled. And it's drilled specifically so that you can put a string through it and use it as a yoni egg. Um, not all yoni eggs are drilled, but you know that when they are drilled that they are specifically for that purpose. A quick word about this, there are two schools of thought when it comes to using drilled eggs versus non-drilled eggs. <clears throat> Neither is wrong, either is right. Um, it just it depends on your practice and what you believe. Now, some women prefer to use drilled eggs simply because it gives them peace of mind. A lot of women first starting out want to know that if they're inserting these eggs into their vagina, they don't have to go digging for it to get it out. You can put the string in and when you're done, simply pull the egg out with the string, right? The other school of thought is um, that using a non-drilled egg helps women to deepen their intuition and actually go further in their reconnection with their own body. Because by using a non-drilled egg, the reliance is not so much on the string to pull it out, but it's a trust factor with trusting your body to expel the egg when your body is ready to do so. Either way is right, like I said, doesn't, doesn't matter, you can do it either way, but um, I only bring that up, the drilled part, to help you in your determination to figure out whether or not it is actually intended to be used as a yoni egg. Like I said, there's a lot of crystals out there that are just carved into a, the shape of an egg that are intended for decorative purposes only or magical purposes or whatever. So <clears throat> if you don't know, of course, ask. Ask the person you're buying the egg from. Is this intended as a yoni egg? If they can't give you a definitive answer, run. <laughs> um, the other thing, another thing, number two, point number two is what is its Mohs rating? The Mohs scale of hardness is a rating system designed to determine how hard your stone is, gemstones, minerals, crystals. And anything below a five is considered soft or a soft stone. And I don't recommend using stones under 6.5 as yoni eggs. For instance, think about selenite. I, a lot of people have beautifully carved selenite eggs. I would never recommend you use that as a yoni stone because 
Selenite is a number two on the Mohs scale of hardness. It's water soluble. And the other thing about it is that it's friable, which means it has a tendency to break apart. And I don't know if you've ever used selenite in your own practice, but for those of you who have, you know that it has a tendency to break off in shards. And it reminds me a lot of fiberglass. I've actually had a selenite splinter lodge itself into my thumb before and you know it wasn't actually very dangerous but it hurt and so I would never recommend using selenite as a yoni egg beautiful for decorative purposes or magical purposes or whatever but don't ever insert selenite in your vagina not a good thing so a safe bet is to make sure that your crystal is at least a 6.5 or higher on the most scale of hardness okay Another thing to ask yourself when researching your crystals for yoni eggs is, is your egg raw or tumbled? I don't recommend using raw crystals for yoni eggs. And the biggest reason for that is because um, when your stone is raw, if it happens to have any toxic minerals or compounds in it, that's when you're most likely to be poisoned by it. A tumbled stone has kind of a natural seal. It makes the stone stronger so that those mineral compounds don't break off, don't get you sick. Um, so always use a tumbled stone for your yoni egg. Okay. The next one is what is the mineral composition of the stone? There are thousands of crystals out there. And because, you know, we, there's hundreds of minerals out there. So the combinations, um, the combinations of minerals to stones, I mean, there's just so many out there. I don't think that there's actually one definitive list of toxic crystals that you can refer to, but I did happen to link to Hibiscus Moon Crystal Academy's toxic crystal list on my last blog post. Um, she does have a pretty long list of what the mineral compounds are in a lot of very popular crystals. And so I think that it's a really good resource to use. Um, but it does, it does happen, it, it says for instance like um, a couple of stones that women commonly use as yoni eggs do happen to be on the list. I'm not so concerned about, for instance, labradorite, which is on the list because it contains aluminum or aluminum, as you say across the pond. Um, I'm not so much concerned about that because it is, you know, it's, it's a higher rating on the scale of hardness, the most scale of hardness. It is uh, tumbled, therefore it has that natural seal, but it also is a trace mineral in such a minute amount um, but because it does have it in there, it does make the list. So use your intuition. You know, another thing, another way I want to put this is that a lot of stones have like copper in them and Hibiscus Moon mentions on her blog, um, do you uh, get sick because you're handling copper? Not necessarily. We use copper pennies all day long, right? So the real danger comes from when you're making elixirs. Um, and that's often done with raw crystals. So it goes back to how you're using it, whether you're ingesting it, you're inhaling it, or whether it's dermal contact, um, and how your body processes those known toxins. So for instance, um, tiger's eye, which I have right here, this in its solid form is safe. In tumbled solid form, it's safe. But when broken apart, it has it does contain asbestos which is when you inhale it it's a toxin so anyway just those things that you need to be mindful of and consider when you're researching this so find out how the body actually digests these toxins so that you know whether or not you're using them in a safe manner um, the aluminum as far as I understand, the Centers for Disease Control have a pretty comprehensive um, description of how the body digests, in literally digests um, aluminum. And so you can check that out. I've included the link as well. So 
things to be mindful of. Number five, how does, oh, that's it. How does the poison, how does the body process the toxin? So just knowing how to handle it safely, um, I guess, is tip number five. So if you have any other questions about whether or not your stones are safe to use, please let me know, send me an email. There are no stupid questions. My last blog post I did, the interview with Inanna, I posted on my blog at thegoddessdiaries.org. It's titled, Everything You Wanted to Know About Yoni Eggs But Were Afraid to Ask. You can go check that out. And um, if you have any questions, leave them there. But the biggest thing that I wanna say is that just trust your intuition do your research and don't be afraid to use yoni eggs if you are feeling called to do so. Um, just educate yourself, educate yourself. And that's what these videos are all about is to, it's my service of sisterhood because I feel like this is a very important thing that women, we need to start doing. Um, it's gonna bring healing on so many different different levels. but. Anyway, just to, to leave this on a more positive note, I wanna say that if you are using any of the stones found in the quartz family, you're pretty much generally safe, 100% safe. Quartz, including clear quartz, like amethyst, citrine, um, rose quartz, all of those, pretty much 100% safe. You've got jade, which does have a few, um, also has aluminum in it but jade was the original um, stone, the original yoni egg that, that women started using three to 5,000 years ago back in China. So take it all with a grain of salt, trust your intuition, do your research and ask those questions. So anyway, I'll see you over on the blog. I love you to the moon and back. Mwah. Until next time, bye.